joining us again for our Lakers cookery class. Our recipe we're doing today is for a family favourite, we're making cottage pie. Now for years I've been making this and calling it shepherd's pie, but technically a shepherd mines sheep, so a shepherd's pie is made with lamb mince. And today we're using beef mince, so we're calling it a cottage pie. So the first thing we're doing today is bringing to the boil a pot of salted water. We're going to add in our potatoes, cook them for about 15 or 20 minutes until they're soft and ready to mash. So next up, we're going to saute off our vegetables. We have our onion. And our carrots. I've cut the carrots quite small so they will cook nice and fast. And to that I'm also going to add some chopped garlic. And turn it down and cook it on a medium heat for about five to seven minutes before we add them in. So once our onions are soft and have taken on a bit of colour, we're going to add in the mince. We want to stir this around to brown it up. After we've browned the mince all over, we're going to add in about 350 mils of warm beef stock. Next we're going to add one bay leaf. This is just for flavour while it's simmering. We will take it out before it's cooked in the oven. And then we want to add some salt and pepper. to let this simmer now for about 15 minutes. So now that our potatoes have cooked, they're nice and soft, I'm going to add in a bit of butter, just a little dash of milk. And we're going to mash them up so that they're going to be nice and soft to go on the top of our cottage pie. Now we have some nice fluffy potatoes to go on the top of our cottage pie. So we're going to add in our peas now, once our meat has been cooking there for a little while. We're going to take out our bay leaf that was just added for flavour, but we don't eat it so we take it out now. I'm going to add in some gravy granules. So these will add a little bit of flavour. And then we'll thicken it up as well. So now we come to the final part of making our cottage pie and that's assembling it all together. So I'm going to put my meat into the bottom of a Pyrex dish. Just level it out there on the bottom. I think the colors look really nice so then we're going to spread our potato on the top. Once 
once I have it basically evenly spaced over it, I'm going to flatten it down with a little spatula. Just to compact it a little bit. What I like to do is just decorate it nice and simply on the top and just use a fork, the back of a fork. It also allows it to crisp up. And if you want, you can do some going down as well. You can bake it just like that. It'll crisp up or you can add a little touch of egg to the top of it. And that'll just help it to to get a little different crust on the top. This is now going into the oven. As everything is basically cooked, it really just needs maybe about 15 minutes to brown the top of it. So my cottage pie has been in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes and I'm going to take it out now, ready to dish up. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, golden, bubbling up. Enjoy.